like the previous two seasons, the two-time defending champion DLSU Lady Spikers finished the first round with a 5-2 win-loss record. Leaning on the past two finals MVPs, Kim Kiana D on the right flank, and Desiree Cheng at the service line, the LaSalle Six bounced back from a lackluster loss against the Adamson Falcons by beating Ateneo in four sets. matchup at 4 and 2 1 is at four game winning streak after losing the first two games which hasn't happened in a decade for Ateneo but they've rolled on four straight wins La Salle in the meantime has lost two of its last three like we said and you in a five setter UE they bounce back and Adamson University beat them in four sets and this will be their final assignment in round number one. Coach Ronnie, before we get started, usually when we get to this point where we are talking about Ateneo La Salle, we sometimes are talking about finals preview, oy, the top two teams. Right. Yeah. This is a season where, first of all, you see them at three and four, ending the first round. Yes. Secondly, you cannot 100% confidently say, as Majoy Baron gets her first point here, that these are the two teams that are going to meet in the finals oh, also. Not at all. No? I think for the first time in the, the last seven years, FEU, Adamson, and NU will really be poised to gate crash the Ateneo de la Sal party, which is what we have seen in the last six years. Right. Of course, we still have to play out the rest of the second round, but make no mistake about it, NU, open? Adamson, it's and open. FEU, and FEU, they what feel about FEU, that this is also right. their year. Now, serving, I'm so interested with this topic, uh, Coach Ronnie, especially in the case of La Salle, Michelle Cobb with a service error, although she had an ace earlier, because of the reception problems of Ateneo. Yes. And La Salle not being the best offensive team this year as but. compared to other years. <laughs> but but. Yeah, that's why I think serving is going to be so key for them against this Ateneo defense. Especially because La Salle has done Makandili was proven to be the best receiver in the last two years, not only locally, but likewise on the international stage as La Salle. 
strings up a two-point lead versus Ateneo. A good start is almost always something welcome for coaches. Pandagdag sa kumpiyansa, pang buo ng paniniwala na tama yung game plan na iginuhit mo, lalong-lalo na pag maayos ang simula. Also, coach, I mentioned that because the two losses of Ateneo, they've given up double-digit figures in aces. The only other game that they gave up double-digit figures in aces that they won was the UP game, which they right. obviously was a tough one. So that's why I feel the serving of LaSalle here is going to be very important to the reception of Ateneo. And then, you blocking na Ateneo this year has been great. It has oh, been oh. great. That has been their major strength oh, so yeah. far here in the first round. But another service ace here, service error rather, para dito sa De La Salle. Punta natin si Eileen Shee from De La Salle side. Boom and Ronnie, change has come for the ladies. Spikers, after they claim their second loss for the season. Ngayon, alam natin that Coach Ramil immediately sends the girls to training after losing a match. But this time, pinagpahinga niya nga ang girls matapos ang laro. But in exchange, they have to train twice a day the entire week. At magpapatuloy nga daw ito until Coach Ramil sees improvements. Feeling ay nakabaw na ang adjustments. Ika nga ni Coach Ramil dahil napansin niya na nawala ang kumpiyansa ng team matapos ang laro kontra sa NU. Kaya naman, going into this match, nagdag ni Coach na dalawang bagay lang ang gusto niyang makita. Ang pagtaas ng moral ng team at ang pagbabalik ng dati nilang laro. Boom and Ronnie, balik sa inyo. Pinagpahinga, no, Eileen? Para kinabukasan dalawang <laughs> practice. <laughs> Pinagpahinga after Adam sa ka. Alam mo, gusto mo kasi yung mga players mo parating under toes eh. Nung natalo sa Enyo, pinag-insayo after the game. Baka yung nasahan nila. Pahinga mo na kayo, tulog kayo. Pero kinabukasan, doblihin nyo yung dalan nyo ng gamit. Kinabukasan and the rest of the week, yan. as Eileen mentioned, might be for the rest of the season. <laughs> it depends on their, on their playing schedule. How, oh, oh. how they... Listen, kasi three yeah. games in a week, eh, di ba? And how they progress also this tournament. 6-3. Here's our score. Sa kabilang panig naman tayo pumunta kay Marty Bautista. Boom and Coach Ronnie, it was that morning that Danny Ravenna finally finished Coach Ty's mile run of death. Yet it was also the same day that she was rushed to the hospital for appendicitis. What followed for the girls was a series of unfortunate events. As you know, Boom and Coach Ronnie, Coach Ty had to leave the girls for Thailand for his father-in-law's death anniversary. And adding to this, Pongai Gaston and Bettina Abella have both injuries on ankle sprains. Kaya naman, Team Captain Maddie Mudayag couldn't help but say na nakakasad at nakakadown daw yung mga nangyayari sila. Pero, they're still gonna play happy and enjoy. With one man down, two in turn, and post Saigon, Maddie says the extra spark they'll have for this classic Ateneo versus LaSalle match is that they're gonna play this for their teammates. Booming Coach Ronnie, you think the spark can jumpstart the squad today? Thank you very much, Marty. That's also another interesting thing there. They already are seventh in receptions. No one pa ng isang libero. Ito, yeah. Uh, so, that, that problem. But again, they are confident. They're in a four-game winning week. Oh, so, but LaSalle well, serving, as we said, is going to be a topic today. 8-3 for the defending champs. In the law, Don Makandili, they will obviously be the chief liberos. Right. You cannot overemphasize the importance of a defensive stopper. And right now, LaSalle's first line of offense putting pressure dito sa first line of defense ng Ateneo. Don Makandili smiling her way to uh, being recognized as Miss Volleyball of last year. And right now, LaSalle building a huge cushion, a six-point lead. Courtesy of four service wow. aces so far. Alam mo kasi nung number one sa service aces so far this year, Mitch Cobb. Exactly. Two players in the top ten for De La Salle in the, among the best servers. Tatlo naman para dito sa team ng Ateneo. And La Salle is the best serving team, of also. course. Ball set back. Don, mababayan. So chance ball para sa Ateneo. Wong will go for the one two, wow. but Pangandili was there. Open. Kiamson cross court puts and it away. Could have been the first point for Ateneo after a big run para dito sa De La Salle. But once again, ni hindi mahanap ng Ateneo yung butas dahil natakpan na naman. Itong pinakamahusay na defensive specialist, si Don Makandili. Spiders lang sila, man. Gat, get the quick, gat. Para sa kanalan doon. Gat, mami, bakit ka? Ano man si Gat? Nalaksa, error 
lang natin. Error, error. Pwede mo nasipin nga ng ganyan, sobrang kina nung sir. Ang di maalala, pwede mong kamay eh. Mahina, mahina lang yung sir. Sherwin taking over the reins for Coach Tai, who will be back on Tuesday. You know, the, the village, uh, the town that they go to, Coach Tai goes to, is four hours away wow. from the airport. But as soon as they get to Bangkok, the airport is going to that. So they really need a little time for him to stay there. Coach Tai, uh, the uh, uh, death anniversary of his father-in-law. In the meantime, point. For Ateneo, good time off by Coach Sherwin. We are at 4 10. They're, they're finding ways to get to their points of attack on offense, but more than that, their first ball has to be better para maka attack and hindi halos makapalo. Itong Lady Eagles, and this stops. Are you talking about Ateneo? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. This stops a huge run para sa Lasal. 6 1 run kanina, kinuha dito ng De Lasal, Green Archers. Yamzon. Wong on the running. Maddie, and it's still alive. Referee Yul allows it. Wong opens up to Maraginot. Check at the net, and Jones touches the net. I think this, landing. That was the first attempt by Jawan Maraginot, and it happened after the 14th point of this set. And that is how well La Salas kept the rally short. But at least, mas nakakapasa si Dina Wong. Pag buhay yung bola, may 50% chance ang Ateneo na baka score man lang. But this is a 7 point team para sa Lasal here in the first set. Joe flies and checks it off. Mitch Cobb. And I believe that was the best reception for Ateneo here so in the far. first set so, so far. Maliwanag. Sa pasa pa lang ni Dina Wong. It allows Maragina to attack before the blockers were ready as Maragina attacked the shorter blocker for her first point so far of this match. The captain serving. Cobb, Dogen Sanya, it's a net block if I'm not mistaken. So a couple of straight points here. If there is someone who's struggling this year para sa Dela Sal, it's got to be Duke Ogon Sanya. In the top 10 in blocking last year, one of their uh, emerging stars for season 79. She has gone to a very slow start this year for Coach Ramil De Jesus. Again, as a team, it has been a while that we have not seen Lasal not at the number one or number two spot of oh, 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 oh. At number five. missing link to one, right? And a running attack. Duke able to put it away for a Gatorade White Lightning fuel spike of the game. And so far for the season, Duke Ogunsanya with 54 points. Ten blocks so far for Duke Ogunsanya. 12-6. Serving again are the Lady Spikers. Over received. Once again, Lasal serving efficiency, which is the first line of offense, putting pressure on Ateneo's ability and capacity to return their serves. Sure. Without that, yeah. Ravenna, yeah. Jules Samonte, and the rest of the Lady Eagles have to be better and they have to be ready and willing. Na, ito yung lineup nila, itong roster nila ngayon. Right. That sideline, ito si Danny Ravenna. There's no question, hot topic yan kay Coach Ramil. Oh, na, ito strength natin, ito weakness nila. Yes. That's your first point of attack. Correct. Point of attack. And I believe at least five service aces for De La Salle at off the bat. Dito sa ating unang set for an eight-point lead. Which is the biggest so far for De La Salle here in this first. Apat. Or rece receiving Reception error. errors para sa Ateneo. Better first ball. Sa gitna din ala. Sinungkit. And a chance ball for LaSalle, who are in the lead 14-6. to six. Cobb opens up to Chang, who was way underneath that ball. Uh, she wanted to score off the block, but not successful. It was Desiree Chang. Number 8 in aces, number 16 in scoring. The third leading scorer for the Lady Archers this year. In the wall. Ateneo providing a roof there in that sequence to cut the lead down to six. It was Bea de Leon, I believe, who got credited for that block. Yes. 
Rare two point plan here para sa Ateneo here in the first set. Ginawa has also been very steady from the service line for the Lady Eagles here in the entire first round. Oh, that's it! That drops in! It was a low set from Cobb, but Majoy Baron was able to guide the ball, the ball to the back zone. It's not just about power, it's about placement and reading the defense. The Red Sosasinko, no one home for Ateneo. Another 7 point lead for De La Salle. 15 8. Oh, what oh, reflexes being shown here by the floor defense of the defending champions who are in the lead by eight. You're watching us also on Liga, Liga HD Channel 183 for UAB Women's Volleyball Season 80. The setters in general this season, Coach Ronnie, have been under the microscope. Of course. For all teams, uh, but obviously the two most popular teams in the league who have the two new setters. The advantage, though, Dino Wong, of course, uh, has been playing for Ateneo already, albeit, of course, behind Gia Morado, or Mitch Cobb officially taking over from Kim Varga this year or his second year with LaSalle. Both were under studies of uh, outstanding playmakers outstanding. in the last few years. They were mentored. Two best. Right. And they have been given the chance right now to be the ace playmakers for their respective schools. Kinaliwani Joe. Kim off speed. First line of defense. Huge problem for Ateneo, perimeter defense, also hounding the Lady Eagles. And this has been a barrage of points already for De La Salle and building a nine-point lead. Kanina 14-8, Mayon three-point run for La Salle to make it 17-8. Joe in the middle, finds a crack at that wall. And Dina Wong doing the right thing, pushing Maragino to different spots to be able to pierce this wanted defense of De La Salle. That's KKD and Majoy Baron, two of the best blockers last year in season 79 for De La Salle. So that girl coach Ronnie, Jo Maraginot, also has, I'm sure she wants to do well today because she also struggled in the finals Ito, yeah. against La Salle last year. Oh, they keep it up. Chance ball for Ateneo. Wong chooses De Leon and she puts it away. Seven point lead for La Salle. Two points for Bea De Leon. Dina Wong with a back set. Pinitin pa. Very low, but quick set. Hindi luta. Kamabilis. Napakabilis pumalo. Makatili. Caught. The chain of speed. Low. Wong, reverse set. Makatili was there to keep it alive. And because of her, they get the point. At least three points for De La Salle. Due to Don Makandili's unbelievable ability to keep that ball alive. Bending backwards, diving forward. Name it. She's done it for De La Salle. Another 8.8 for the Lady Archers. All the superlatives have been, have been used for Don Makandili. Definitely the barometer of all defensive specialists here in the country. That is out. That's uh, finally Kat Tolentino. No? Isang malinis, something, yeah. isang malinis na atake. Tama. Mabibilang mo lang eh. May Joanna Maraginot, may BDL. Of course, may Kat Tolentino. But then, hindi consecutive at hindi tuloy-tuloy. And again, it's forced down to reception. They have not been able to get their plays going. As BDL serves us up. 11 serving 18. And a service error will not help their cause. Uh, Don Makandili is coming off a 24 and 18 performance in terms of digs and reception against Adamson. An eight point lead. MVP. Over received again. Underhand set. Oh, and the wall was there. And that is just an illustration on the best blocking team so far for the season. Two man wall for Ateneo getting the job done, cutting the lead to seven, and reading this pass. This underhand pass coming from me. Good serve by the reigning rookie of the year. First service ace today for Ateneo. Samonte is coming off a 15 point game. 
And suddenly, she has emerged to be one of the best points of attack for Ateneo. From De La Salle Sobel in high school, of course. Well, she will call to timeout to arrest this run. So, Angelica Pangaliban, Kim Chu, JM De Guzman, in attendance here at this Masala Tenere match, while, where the defending champions are enjoying a six point lead, avoiding, they want to avoid, with a win today, they want to avoid back to back losses, which hasn't happened, Coach Ronnie since season 77 wow. in the finals against Ateneo. Ateneo. When Ateneo swept them. Yeah. So that's why I only love my Uli Pion. Overreaching. Demanding back in a while. Yes. Uh, the uh, basketball team. Kip, Andre, all in attendance. And now, Kapalita na tayo dito. Rich Cobb will sit down. And of course, Ari Lai Lyon will take over for De La Salle, who are ahead by seven. Tolentino through the block. And then again, pagmaayos ang first ball. May chance sa kang pumasa ng malinis at pumalok ng maayos. CJ Saga will come in for KKD. Now, Dina Wong able to activate Catalentino. We scored about three points here in this set. That's Vince, her brother, and of course, her mom. Her mom. Oh. I think it was Jamie LaVittoria also in front of them. Another person who's not, another player who's not joining them this year. Right. Other than Ana Copico right, right, and right. Hekiliana. Samonte. Live through the block. Nope, that's four touches. So to me, to get dito, ang Ateneo, looking at Coach Camille. Let's see De Mesilio. Also used to play for the De La Salle Lady Archers, another member of the champion team. Oh, yes. Coach Ramil De Jesus, one of many. One of the best uh, all-around players they, they have, Sid De Mesilio. A good sign, yeah. It's still alive, but it won't make it to the other side, so that's a basal point. That's enough force for Duque Ogansanya to score against Ateneo's defense. Ang laki ng puhunan dito ng Lasal, eh. Shadong malaki yung lamang nila. Mga taga-tanawad, Batangas. Evelyn, no? Yung mommy. Ni Don. Ayan, no? Nagpapakilala ulit. 16-12. Ateneo not out of it yet. But they've got to do the work now, Coach Ron. Well, if you're LaSalle, you have to... Ito yung sinasabi ni Desiree Cheng nung interview. Okay, Captain, kanina. Iwasan yung mga influencing, yung mga check will check ball. This will be the last warning, okay? The next time you're not, it will be a misconduct warning already, okay? That's uh, international referee, you Minoso, reminding the players not to influence Yung mga check ball calls as uh, Donna Domingo, the mom of uh, the captain of Ateneo in attendance. I was about to say, Coach Ronnie. Yun yung sinasabi ni Cheng na hindi na naging problema nila yung panapos, panapos. Pumitaw eh. Oh, uh -oh. So, ito yung gusto nilang iwasan right. dito. It's hard enough to build the lead. So, if you surrender it and lose that particular set, masasaktan ka talaga on you. There's, there's check. But for Ateneo, it's all about momentum. Whatever happens even in the first set, it's all about playing better. Para may sa yes, sa and ano giving ba? themselves a chance of uh, staying close. Again, first ball problems. Over reception agad eh. No? Oh, bumalik ang bola. Another chance ball for Lasal. Saga, bumanga kay Duque. And that... Because of that, he did not right. recover to CJ right away. And that's transition offense. 
Dacă problema lui că de reacție în coach Ramil de Jesus. Oh, that's Mr. Um, Desiree Cheng. Janelle Cheng. Janelle Cheng. Also in attendance. Champion player, D.S. Yes. Cheng trying to go for the cut shot, but the set was not good. Coach Ramil is tempted right. to push the timeout yes. button. From a high of nine, it's down to four. And he will. And this is the charge for the Ateneo. They did the Eagles a huge uprising later in the first set. Yung tayo yung naggagawa ng gumagawa ng puntos para sa kanila. Pilitin lang natin may tawid yung bola. Hindi to patawid yung bola eh. Ang daming hindi tumatawid na bola. So sayang. Pag tumawid yung bola, madaming pwedeng mangyari, pwedeng maka-block. Pwedeng magkamali kalaban niyo. Pero sa atin pa lang nagkakamali na eh. So hindi dapat nagkakamali. Gawa natin ang paraan yung mga maling mal bola, okay? O kasi tayo mayos. Alagaan niyo lamang niyo. Okay? Alagaan niyo lamang. Alagaan niyo lamang. Doc AJ, Kirk Long. <laughs> Doc AJ, of course, did our first game of earlier where FU won over UST. Second child already for Kirk. Captain Kirk at 22 years old. Captain Kirk <laughs> and Doc AJ. So, mga money. Mga ano, tito lo. Mga tito lo. Bakasyon si Kirk from Guam, I guess. Two very uh, good players in their own respective sports. Ayo. Hindi pwede yung ganyan niyo sa blocking ng Ateneo. No? Kasi Coach kailangan Ron. committed ka kung papalo ka. You have to be decisive. Tama yung binanggit mo. You're up against the number one blocking team. Well, we all know who Gia is and Denise Dinsai, former courtside reporter, of course. Yeah, parang hindi pa nag-absent sa mga Ateneo na laro. Si Pat. That is out. Oh, no, it's in. in. Oh, it's wow. sweet. It's sweet. Yon para sa Ateneo. And a la good break para naman sa Dela Sal. Yes. They need it, yeah, no? Coach Ron. Ito sa isya sa ball. Pasok na pasok. Oh, yeah. Well, doesn't hurt to get lucky. Liz Gohing in attendance also here. And again, first serve. And this is a big boost to the confidence back of Mitch Cobb. Another service ace for De La Salle. At least five for them here in the set. Panglima. And this will be the five set points likewise for De La Salle. Di magsaservice ng long ball yan. Puri short. Ano pa yan? Get one tayo, De. Serve tayo ng maganda. Ha? Okay. Tignan niyo yung bola. Tignan niyo yung bola. Ria, salita, Ria. Okay lang yun. Magkamali. Ha? Go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. One, two, three. Nice job. Happy, happy. The number one server in the league trying to get them over the hill here in the first set where the lead was at largest nine. They are now at set point. There was one win for Nasai this year. Wouldn't see Mishka yung tuloy-tuloy na tumapos from the service line. Another Faulty first ball, but Joe Maraginon flies and says, no problem. Yeah, but look at how hard Dina yeah. Wong had to work, right? After this reception coming from Sabon, the underhand pass. Again, coach, receiving was a problem of Ateneo even last year. The difference was, Gio Morano was out of this world in terms so, of... Saka, man, Mitch Morano was chasing last year. Oh, he was chased. But and then, you're chasing the ball. Yeah. Yeah. There was no man better. But right now, it is Masal. All over set number one. They recover just in time. And get their noses in front here in match number 26. Back inside the Ball of Asia Arena. 25-20 is the score. DLSU over the Ateneo Lady Eagles. UAB Season 80, women's volleyball. That's what's happening right now. But soon enough, Coach Ronnie, for all our volleyball fans. Of course. The Premier Volleyball League will make its comeback. And with us, Sir Ricky Palu, of course, representing the PVL. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, well, uh, good afternoon also to our, all our televiewers and volleyball fans. Uh, 
Yeah, we'd, we'd like to say that uh, the Premier Volleyball League will uh, will be starting in uh, May. We're opening on May 6th, and uh, we're really looking forward to a really good season. We've got a lot of uh, new teams coming in. Uh, we have a, we will have a total of eight teams, eight. and uh, and uh, we 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 promise a very exciting season. Uh, there's also talk of uh, uh, a Grand Fans Day, uh, Siriki. Yes, as, as we all know, we uh, the PBL owes a lot to the fans, the volleyball right. fans, and uh, we'd like to repay them back by uh, having a Grand Fans Day uh, together with our uh, press con. Uh, so we'd like all of you to look out for this. We'll have it sometime uh, towards the end of April, and. Uh, Look out for this. So for, for all the fans, we hope you'll uh, join us. Anong conference ang tayo magsisimula? Anong uh, all Filipino ba? Reinforced yeah. ba? Collegiate? Ang unang conference natin is uh, reinforced no? with imports. Lahat ng teams may dagdagalawang imports. Two imports. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. When it comes to the fans day, Sir Ricky, ano ba yung aasahan ng mga fans dito? Well, ang, we, ang sunayo mangyari is they will, they will be able to interact with the, with the, with the players. No? So we'll have some activities that will... Uh, Bring the fans to get closer to the to the players. Right? Sama kami, eh? Of course. Okay. Of course. <laughs> also, from a from a TV coverage standpoint, I know, uh, Sir Ricky, that uh, and we've been doing this already. But there will be more stories of these players that will obviously uh, inspire uh, uh, and uh, help other other fans watching maybe get into volleyball because that's how it all starts anyway, Sir uh, Ricky. I think one of the the programs of. Uh, SNA Sports and Action TV is to, to give some uh, background and some uh, highlights of uh, how these players came about and uh, and uh, this should be interesting and the fans should be looking forward to this too. I remember Crystal Rivers last year. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. All right, in the meantime, again, reminding you, BVL, that's May 6th. The press conference uh, will be uh, in April uh, and the Grand Fans Day, correct? Correct, right. that will be towards the end of April. All right, in the meantime, as we go on to set number two, and LaSalle here getting uh, first points. Well, now we're tied after that error. I, w I want you to, I want you to real, before we let you go, Sir Ricky, I want you to give us what you saw in that first set uh, well, for both Ateneo and LaSalle. I think uh, Lasalle is playing, doing a really good job. They're playing really well, and uh, I think uh, the Ateneo team is kind of uptight. You know, they're, they're, they're tight. So I think they should relax a little bit more. Happy, happy. Uh, yes, uh, uh, like uh, you see how uh, the Lasalle players are playing. They're so relaxed. Uh, they're, 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 it's it. They're enjoying the game. All, always with Ateneo Lasalle, especially in a venue like this, it's easier said than done to relax. Tayo nga, hindi mahirap, hindi tayo makapag-relax. But uh, imagine the players. In a big moment here as Don Pakaliri lets that sail out. Anything else before we let you go, sir? Uh, any other reminder? Well, uh, we, we just hope you'll come and continue to support us. Uh, the PBL is there for the fans and for volley vol more volleyball uh, uh, fans that uh, want to come and watch good games. So uh, please join us and come and watch a game. That will be from May to December of this year, I guess. Yes, we will have uh, three, three conferences. conferences. Nice, uh -huh. very nice. Thank you. Sarap, busog na busog ang mga volleyball fans at lahat mong yan. Mapapanood nyo sa SNA. And of course, on the number one sports website in the Philippines, sports.abs-cbn.com slash live stream. So, Ricky, maraming salamat. Thank you, sir. Good Thank you very you. much, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and uh, enjoy the, the rest of the game. Yes, I sure you will. Right. Right. Straight points, kinawalan ito ng De La Salle after Ateneo tasted the lead for the first time in this match. From 2-1, it's now 3-2. Take like the 3 on on the service error coming from Desiree Cheng. Let's go to Eileen Shi right now for this report. Boom and Ronnie, it seems as if their second loss ignited the fire in the girls' eyes because what they are showing right now is a performance that is suitable for a defending champion. Now, this may be the fruit of the long talk the girls had in the dugout after their previous match as they agreed that they need to help each other carry the team. Thus, in order to keep the momentum on their side, Coach Ramil asks the girls for three things. Control the errors, relax, and maximize the rotation. That's all for now. More updates later. Boom and Ronnie. Thank you. We would appreciate that, Eileen. Uh, we are also, of course, streaming via the Filipino channel, tfc.tv, and sports.abs-cbn.com slash live stream slash UAAP. Thank you for watching. Boom Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie Monsano. We are in the middle of the
Not in the middle. At the start of the second set at 4 all, La Salle getting their noses in front with that first set win. Well, that report was based on the fact that La Salle committed seven unforced errors. Two more than what Ateneo had. Isa nakalipas na unang set. In the meantime, putahan natin si Marty Bautista. Booming Coach Ronnie, you've noticed a fresh face today, and that is Sydney El Yazar. Coach, I actually used to use her as a service specialist, but today she has to step up in her fellow rookie, Raven, Danny Ravenna, shoes. But Sid isn't the only one thinking of stepping stepping up. In fact, Bea de Leon said in her prayer before the game, humble us to know that we may not be the best players, but lift us up today that we may be the best spikers. The first set may have challenged the girls, but team captain Mavi Matayag keeps her cool and reminds the girls that they are forgetting to communicate. She adds, and Gaya nga sanabi ni Sir Ricky Palu, enjoy lang tayo, masyado tayong seryoso. Happy lang. Back to you, Boom and Coach Ronnie. Thank you very much. And right now, you have a two-point lead, Marty, 6-4. to four. Biggest lead for Ateneo in lead. this set and in this match. Two straight points for the Lady Eagles. Paul opens up the nice pass. She's looking for a check. Referees, you looking, looking, looking at the linesman. Says, nope, no check. Second attack error of the set for Nicole Chamzon. Rather, Team Chamzon. Ateneo builds a three-point lead. Better way to start the set for Ateneo after being down by as much as eight. It's oh, the first. Oh, first set. Oh, good first ball there. Sa gitna din ala, linihis. Linihis. And yun yung sinasabi ni Coach Ramil. Wag it, wag, pag nakita mo na nakaset yung block, there's no wag point. Wag mo na dalhin, oo. Oh, oh. It's all about reading the defense and understanding. Kung ano yung front line na meron ka, ito na yung bala mo sa back row. She's so smart when she plays, though, isn't she? Ever see KKP? Veterano, eh. Finals MVP. Finals MVP. Oh. For years. Somebody touched the net, and that's unfortunate for the song because I think that attack went out, ano, Coach oh, Ronnie? Oh, uh, Coach Ramil, uh, nangihinayang. Dalawa na yan, sabi niya kay Mitch Cobb. You are watching match number 26, second game of our Saturday doubleheader. La Sala Nateneo going at it. And that's a punchy bar, oh bar sasaya moment as Ateneo is smiling at this three point lead. Chara Soriano, the hitter. Yes. Galing lang sila sa Puerto Galera, no? Uh, for uh, uh, yeah. BVR, oh. Jeff Ferrer, former best setter also. For the Ateneo Lady Eagles. In, in the first set. Of course, nakasama na ito sa Pana. Dito lang, dito lang, diba? Recently, yes, sorry. In the first set, five points at least para kay KKD at Majoy Baron. All for Ateneo, Joanna Maraginot with four and Catalentino scoring three respectively for the Lady Eagles. That's out. Oh, oh, oh. Three-point lead restored, nine to six. The wall was there, right. pero bumalik at lumabas. Overpowering Majoy Baron. That's two of the tallest bears that we have <laughs> in the entire competition. Madi Madayag and, of course, last year's season MVP, Majoy Baron. Oh, naiwanan si Majoy. Oh, and good execution of that slight play, that running him. And it wasn't a long run also, Coach Ronnie, kaya hindi nabasa ng uh, mabilis. Yeah, maganda reception, kaya nakabasa ng ganun kaayos, of course, si Mitch Cobb. It's been a nice uh, duel between Dina Wong once again. Yeah. And Mitch Cobb in the biggest stage, in the spotlight. Chance here for LaSalle. They're down by two. D. The dive by Cat. Joe goes down the line. Cobb keeps it up. Chance here for Ateneo. Bump set. That's out. Going to the back row attacker. <laughs> but Catalentino, the leading scorer for Ateneo. Our first referee, Yul Benosa, is, he keeps warning all these players, as we see Richie Rivero on your screen. He keeps warning them, stop telling me, check ball, check ball. <laughs> They're warning me, Mr. Jack, Anina. For Ateneo, man. Oh, oh. 
Sorry, I think it was for Lasal rather for that, uh, that had the warning. So Desiree yung kausap yes, 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 yes. My bad. Palakasan ng hiyawan dito. <laughs> Pwede, pwede. Opens to Chang down the line. Cap yes, could not right handle there. the heat of that strike. Uh, that's through the double wall, straight down the line. Tatlong pinagdaanan. Biglang ibinito sa open. Itong si Cobb. That's a big point coming from Desiree Chang. Now we're tied at 9 all after they took an 8 5 lead heading to the first technical timeout. Four straight points for De La Salle, only one for Ateneo. That's another point for LaSalle, and just like that, LaSalle is back on top. The what? offense is humming today. All right. It's all about points. It's all about uh, always staying in control, and this is what LaSalle so far has shown in the set after Ateneo was able to build a three-point in an 8-5. Uh, Ira naman mag-open pag uh, maganda yung receiver. Eh. First place si Kobe, ano advantage na ito? Okay. First place si Kobe, maliit si Kobe. Sagayin mo lang doon, sagayin mo lang. Sige lang, sige lang. Ako pa may all in tayo. Pwede na, pwede rin si, um, si Mans dito ha. Higit ka rin ng bola. Okay, receive mo na, receive mo na, receive mo na, receive mo na. One, two, three. Again, for those of you just tuned in, no uh, coach Tai today. He's, uh, he left uh, Wednesday for Thailand. He is in a place called Trat City. Trat? Trat City. C-R-A-T. Tan in La Victoria. Uh, joining us here at Trat City, four hours away from the, from the airport. Parang bagyo, no? Parang ganun. So, uh, so two state as well. He's only missing this game. One game, yeah. Oh. These two setters, Dina Wong and Mishka, will score 22 points each for their respective teams. That's a JRS Express play of the game, a 1-2 play using the left hand for Dina Wong. And our highest scoring setter this year is Jasmine Aboy with 31. Last year it was Kim Bahardo. Of course, the second one was Gia Morad. They're tied at 10 all. That's a short set, so it's a chance ball here for LaSalle. They go to Duque. Pick up by Tolentino. Maraginot, somebody hung on to the net again. And I think it's Michelle. Well, LaSalle had seven unforced errors in the first set. And they don't want to give Ateneo three points and easy points. Was that out again? Yung palo ni Joe? Out. Katulad ng kay Katsu na nabibiyayaan. Nabibail out. Oo, no? Good first ball. Which leads to that perfect attack. Nice pass. Off center, away from the blockers. Duque Gonzaga with a quick wipe off the ball. The tight account at 11. Bilis ng palo. Again, first ball problems for Atene hounding them here. Mitch to the middle. Makandini keeps it up, although umaangal oh, ang Ateneo at pinawag ng four touches dahil dalawa sa balikat yata tumama. Coach Ramin looking at his bench, look at his last sequence. Single knock, that's the first touch kasi. One count na yun, two, three, ayun. Mule on top of the action. Ace! And an ace from Ateneo. Courtesy of the setter, Dina Wong. Second one. Para dito sa Ateneo in this match, they had five versus the Fighting Maroons. This time, Don Makadini could not keep that up. 13-11, the father of Dina Wong looking on. Open to D. She softens it up. Maraginot. Cheng, malayo-layo. A cut shot. Back set. Nobody home. A chance for Ateneo again to reverse to the other side. Oh, and entry denied. Duque Ogonsanya has made her presence felt today for De La Salle. Scoring sa gitna. Defending, helping out KKD establish the 2 one wall. Another tight set, or rather a tight set is what we're seeing after a runaway first set win para dito sa Lady Archers. Wong opens. Samonte, that's out. Oh, out. 
The straight points for De La Salle ties the count at uh, 13. Coach Ramil continues to coach. Coach Sherwin. Alam niya pandiin eh. 14-8 in terms of attack points sa ating unang set. But four blocks for Ateneong versus one for La Salle. Difference was service aces. La Salle had five in the first set. Ateneo only had one. In this set, Ateneo's five blocks already. <laughs> what a reaction. And that's out again. Ateneo well, looking for a check ball. Yul is looking at his line spin. Look at the reaction of Coach Ramil. And now he's going to talk to Mary Joy Di Imos, our second May check. May nakita ka check. Wala. No touch ball. No check ball, rather. The replay might show otherwise, Coach Ronnie. I don't know if I saw it correctly. But remember, you and I have the benefit of slow mo. Replay, right. <laughs> That's check. That's <laughs> what it's like. It's like, 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 Whatever edge that you can get, you will take it. And now, La Salle has built a two-point lead. Three straight points para dito sa De La Salle, Green Archers. And up po, ang nanay, Daisy Cheng. Oh, mommy. They're still trying to recover from that Probably miss call, no, Kanina? Yung yung mga breaks that uh, breaks, yeah. beyond your control, are yeah. beyond your control. Lahat ng sport meron ganyan, ano? Coach Ronnie, and again. Diretiretso na sa dito. This was a 12-13. Coach Ronnie has Tama four yan. straight points to get them to the second technical timeout. We're coming to you live from the Mall of Asia Arena, Sir Dino Larena, Sir March Pentosa, uh, maybe SCBN Sports, Sports Integrated, the Ravenas, of course, in attendance. Looking on, athletes, actors, actresses, models. Well, like I said, models and athletes. Carlos Laurel. In the meantime, we're back here at 16-13. Four-point run back, Coach Ronnie. Tama ka ron. Kasamang boom from 13-12. Wow, ang inis nun. And now this is a five-point uh, cushion para sa De La Salle. Coming from behind. Here in the second set, after being behind dun sa ating first technical timeout, cleanest attack para kay T.H. Samson here in the set. And that's a smile to boot after that last attack point for a four-point lead. The biggest, the largest for LaSalle, given set two. Deschen continues to serve. And it drops oh, in. Ace. And look at her wag the finger. It's all about stopping the run ng LaSalle para dito sa Ateneo. To stay in this set after they were still ahead of 13-12. Ito yung mga ayaw mo mangyari kung ikaw si Coach Erling Meneses. Yung tuloy-tuloy na hindi mo mapigil. <laughs> And, and again, we'll go back to what we said in the pregame, or at the start of the game. Service and service reception is going to be the key, especially from the LaSalle standpoint, because they're number one there, and Ateneo is number seven in reception. That is a 7-0 run. And a seven service is para para sa LaSalle. Remember that LaSalle is the best serving team heading into this match. And they're also the best receiving team. Ateneo this season so far, a 21% receiving team. At ang kanilang best receiver, Danny Ravenna, not in harness today. Again, uh, recovering from an appendectomy oh. and right out of a timeout. And as I said in the game, the FEU in you game, this is how FEU founded on NU also and on, on Aika Ordas and, and the first serves. This starts playing in your head, of course. Asakano yan, nag-snowball yan eh. 
This is also the same ailment that uh, hurt Ateneo in their two losses to start the season. Correct. Double Against digit. And FEO. Double digit aces. In aces that they uh, surrendered. Tiamson. Mm -hmm. A chance for Ateneo to attack. No, there wasn't a chance because Tiamson was there to make sure. Wow. For a 21 13 lead, we are in the midst of a 9 0 run. And Chen has been there in the service line for at least 5 yeah, minutes already. Yeah. Right now, tagal tagal yan. And she's enjoying herself punishing the receivers of the main lead. Lady Eagles who have to respond better. And yan, among sila 13 12. Good first ball there, but it's sent back by LaSalle blockers. Michelle Zahn could not get to it. Sinalo na ni, sinalo na ni Joanna Mariginot yung reception dun sa huling service ni Desiree Cheng. And they're able to finally launch a point of attack against the double block and score. Stopping a 9-point run for De La Salle. Cheng with a solid first ball. Key from the opposite side. Puts it away. And that's the quality of a 38% receiving team. No problem for Mishka to set up. Ang kanyang opposite hitter and KKD delivers down the line. No one home on defense for Ateneo. Their confidence is rising. Oh, right. Iba na yung, iba na yung bounce. Eh. Oh. You know what confidence does in sports. Luke is third to serve. They go to Cat. Set back. Joe sends it back to Cat. Cross court. Jim John keeps it alive and a chance ball for a Pineo. Combination play, but read so well by the defending champions. They were not drawn by the first attempt or the, the faker in Bea de Leon. And the run continues for De La Salle. 11 of the last 12 points after being down 13 12 have been won by De La Salle. Punctuated that a huge 9 0 run when Desiree Cheng was at the service line for Coach Ramil de Jesus. Let me correct myself. Be, si Majoy Baron, medyo nahila ng kote ni, Maj ni, ano, ni Bea, pero ang galing ng recovery ni Tiana D. Dun. Entry denied again. Back set. Samonte! Oh, she put something into that, didn't she, Coach Ronnie? Of course, they needed that. Maybe some Gatorade White Lightning. Fueled spike of the game. White Lightning. <laughs> and that was as fast as Lightning. <laughs> Parang may halong ano eh, yung frustration na kasi. Eh. Oh, tama na. Enough is enough. Because oh. right now, they are down 8. 15, 7, 23. 8 in the set. Kiana, off speed. Not over. Oh, it's a lift. It's a lift called on, on Kiana. It she was blocked and then she disagrees, but play moves on. Nine points for KKD. 16-23. Bob in the middle. A couple of points here for Ateneo. Signs of life for the Lady Eagles. Three straight points for Ateneo. Noel Orgullo, the assistant coach of La Salle, took a look at Coach Ramil, and Ramil said, it's okay. Hindi muna tayo magta-timeout. Ayaw din niyang makaregroup ang Ateneo. Sabi niya, let them recover on their own for a while. No timeout muna. The father of BDL, of course, once again. Cheng, 41st ball for La Salle. So chance ball again for Ateneo. Down six. Wow, make that sit down block. seven. Single, no? Was it single team? block by Team Tiamzon? Huh? Gotta be impressed. On Jules Samonte, let's look at that. We're reading that pass. Basa niya yung pasa ni Wong. Uh, down the line attempt from Jules Samonte this time. Covered that in my house. Sabi ni Team Tiamzon. So again, Coach Ronnie for the second straight set. Set point for DLSU. Seven at least for De La Salle. Inangat kay Kat. That is four. No. Yul allows it. Cat. Oh, Makadili sends it back. Oh. Outside na sana yun. Hinapol ni Maradino. And it goes back. And it's Michelle Kaum. The smallest. But other than Don Makadili. Who is able to shut the door on that final attack of Cat Tolentino. And Lasal is ahead. Two sets to love.
Back inside the Mall of Asia Arena, let's go to Marty Bautista with special guest Gia Morado and Melissa Golding. Coach Ronnie here, I have two legends who need no introduction, Mel Gohing and Gia Murado, who are here to talk about the PVL. So Mel, anong dapat abagan natin for the PVL? Well, we are very excited to announce the opening of the second season of PVL here at SNA. Plus, even after UAB Volleyball, tuloy pa yan ang volleyball action ng dito sa SNA. And for the next season, marami dapat abangan yung mga fans natin ngayon. Um, Maraming mga nawalang players, pero maraming magbabalik and maraming bagong players na friends from UAAP. And mas intense na ang labanan, so abangan dapat nila. Dapat nga talaga. How about you, Gio? What are we to expect with you and the PBL? Uh, I think uh, we've been preparing well because we, we've heard how strong the teams are this season. So and, like extra preparation can go a long way. And of course, to kick off the season, we're holding a grand fans day for not just the players, but also for the fans because we know that PPL was built on the fans. So this is going to be interactive and um, it will give the fans a chance to interact with their favorite players as well. So kung kailan ka, abangan natin. And to keep you posted, please like and share the ABS-CBN Sports and Action website. Well, there you have it, Boom and Coach Ronnie. I don't know with you, but I definitely can't wait. I'm handing it back to you. Thank you, Marty. Thank you to uh, Gia and, uh, of course, Melissa and uh, two very, very, very good players at their positions when they were playing recently, of, of course, course, Gia and the Ninja, let's go Hing, who Both champion uh, players yes. in the UAP, uh, and we will be looking forward, oh, of course, yes. to seeing our exciting. PVL stars in about 60 days. Exciting. It's very exciting. Condition, condition, uh, and of course, the uh, fans of Gio Morado will be happy to see her play volleyball again because they see her all the time here watching the Ateneo games. So to see her in her element, because Ronnie would be, of course, in action. Of course, uh, her younger brother plays for the Ateneo Blue Eagles, yes. uh, I think, men's division. In the meantime, okay, Coach Ronnie, encapsulate the last two sets for us for those who are just tuned in. To SNA, we are at set number three, Lasar. I had two sets to love, they're down here in the third set, 1 0. Well, I thought that in the first set, Lasal totally dominated that set, overpowering Atene with her offense, starting with the first line of offense, which is yung service aces nila, having five service aces. Pero sa second set, lamang na Atene do, nakala natin na recover na ng gusto, until the 26 points, 13 12, lamang Atene yo. Nice straight points, De La Salle. There was no turning back for the archers. Dahil yung reception problems sa Ateneo, lumabas na naman doon sa bandang dulo. At kahit matindi ang blocking dito ng Ateneo, laban sa Delasal, we already have a total of 8 blocks referring to Ateneo. Not enough to derail Delasal from holding a 2-set advantage. Ateneo scores on that miss hit coming from Maraginot, the leading scorer this year for Ateneo. When I was 6 points, they made. Yan. Alright, balikan ulit natin si Marty Bautista from the Ateneo side. Pinaalala ni Coach Sherwin sa Lady Eagles na pag wala tayong first ball, counter tayo. Huwag tayo mawalan ng pag-asa after set two, taking the best of the girls. Coach Sherwin reminds them to keep it simple and enjoy. The team has been struggling with first ball, but the Lady Eagles are focusing more on their lack of confidence. Team captain Madi Madayag recalled how scared she was in her first Ateneo versus LaSalle match. Now, as a senior, she understands her younger teammates and knows that she needs to help her teammates get their confidence back. Sabi niya, in the end, it's just another game and LaSalle is just another team. In the end, Tony, back to you. Thank you, Marty. Well, your team off to a good start here in set number three, four, one. And better attacks, better uh, flow on the offense here for them. Quicker. And BDL has been activated by Dina Wong here in the set. BDL, of course, coming off a nine-point game in the three-set win by Ateneo versus UP. Ateneo is led by the six points of Maraginot. Five for Samonte. Tolentino with five. While DLSU is led by D with nine points. Yun yung ano, tahimik lang yung nine points itong si KKD. Ogunsanya has seven points. Uh, uh, Majoy has six. Desiree Cheng has six, including some service Collective aces. Scoring, uh -huh. oh, service aces, by the way, she's on deck right now, serving as we go to Eileen Shee. 
Boom and Ronnie in a game like this, kung piyansa ang magiging asset ng kahit anong team. Now, according to Coach Ramil De Jesus, patuloy na binibigyan ng kumpiyansa ng Lady Spikers ang Ateneo Lady Eagles every time they continuously commit. Tayo ang nagpumpisa ng mali, tapos tayo ang nanihirapan lumangon. Ika nga ni Coach Ramil. Kaya naman, going into this set, isa lang ang paalala ni Coach Ramil. Umpisahan natin ang tama. Boom and Ronnie. Yun nga lang. Ang Ateneo, nag-umpisa ng tama. Pero, they have a cushion, 2-0, but and they have uh, closed the sets really strong. Really strong, yes. Even if they were behind. But you know, it's like you go, you go up two sets to love. How many times have we seen it? Right, 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 right. And now, one thing going here for Ateneo, it's a lot of this team. Especially against LaSalle. It's not just urgency, but a matter of pride for the Lady Eagles not to be swept. It's all about fighting hard and fighting for every point. One point at a time. One set at a time. Manel yeah, like Gable to sneak in a quick one. And Dina Wong has been going to BDL. Kat Valentino and Madi Madayag. Her tallest attackers against LaSalle's wanted perimeter defense. 6-3, 3 point lead Ateneo here in the third. And she's been able to do that because they've had better first ball in this set. Oh, yeah. That's how simple it is. Comes on. Law keeps it up. Ayan na naman, sinungkit. Madi Madayag. 7-3! Well, one of the reasons why napakababa ng mga output ng leading scorers ng Ateneo is because Ateneo only had a total of 15 attack points in two sets combined mm -hmm. when Lasal already had 14 in the first set alone. But let's see if it will be a different uh, storyline in this set for Ateneo. Remember, Ateneo has, you know, in terms of the collective effort, they have member spikers. They're number three in the league. And that's Lasal, a percentage. Yes, Lasal oh, is number six, which right. again... You know, you don't see LaSalle there at 6-5. Oh, that has been their issue uh, this year. But they've been making up because of serving, receiving, and digging. That's the tagline in this game. LaSalle's defense versus Ateneo's offense, supposedly. And, and it's Wong who touched the net with her hair. I think her head, no? Two straight points for De La Salle. Trims a, the biggest advantage of Ateneo, which stood at 4. I mean, we've been talking about stuff that is not normal in the last, let's say, six, seven years of Ateneo and Lasal. But this year, for all the teams, Coach Ronnie, there's so much that is not normal. A lot of what has happened this year has been... I think the theme for Season 80 <laughs> is not just go for great. It's just unpredictability Correct. for all teams. And saka, probably, it's rotate yung cycle. Because there's a cycle. Eh. Yeah, of course. And if you lose several wheels in your in your recruitment, and the other ones are going to fall. Yes, they're going to Oh, what a... Attack from Castellino there. First and the first technical timeout. Ateneo is ahead by two, eight to six. You're watching UAB Volleyball on SLA. Babalik po kami dito sa SLA. Remember, you are watching us also on Liga, Liga HD Channel 183, and of course online via the Filipino channel and TFC.tv and sports.abs-cbn.com slash livestream slash UAAP. And that was Spock Father of Vinsuan of the Adams and Falcons. Na maglalaro bukas contra UE, Lady Warriors. And tapos. Bandikit sa ibabaw. Which is top of mind for Ateneo. Lasal incidentally after FU defeated USD sa ating unang laban dito ngayong hapon. Lasal has recovered a little bit here, Coach Lani, and are down by one only. It was a three-point run. Para dito sa team ng De La Salle. Buti natapos ni Catalentino yung run nila. Grabe the first technical timeout. Once again, De La Salle comes out firing. Narrowing the gap to just a solitary point lead for the Ateneo. Ano ba biggest lead natin dito sa set 4? Ito sa set na to, 4-7-3. Oh, oh. Importante mapigil mo yung run eh. Lalo kung laman ka naman. Hindi nila nagawa yun eh. Doon sa second oh! set. Uh, that's a disjointed play. As Beachcock talks to Duque Ogunsanya. Free point for Ateneo. Two-time best setter at WNCAA. Athlete of the Year. She has some credentials with her. Right, right, right. Former team B ng La Salle. She already got cut at one point, but made it back and then had an extra year of apprenticeship underneath. Which is very important. <laughs> far, though, very, yes. very important. Oh! Underneath the ball. Did Tiamzon. Every time Ateneo inches close 
Oh, inches closer. Ateneo strings up two consecutive oh, points. The sisters are, are here. They are tan. They are tan. They are in the house for Ateneo. Yeah, you know. Gary Lee Puerto Galera. Kasama nila Charo Soriano. Of course. Mga kapatid sa PVR. PVR, of course. Champion na naman ba sila? I can't keep track anymore. Oops. In the meantime, balik tayo dito. Lamang ng tatlo ang Ateneo. Gawin mo ng apat. Courtesy of Joe Maraginot. Who is starting the hump? And again, it's all about stopping the run of your opponent. After the first technical timeout, Lasal striking with the first point, and then Ateneo coming back with three straight points. They're still ahead by four. Nine, their biggest lead during the third set. Hey, show some love for your favorite UAP team. Official licensed UAP merchandise is now available online at UAPstore.com. And we have it here in the Mall of Asia. It's in the merchandise store of UAP. So make sure you get yours and support your favorite team and the beauty of UAP Volleyball. Support your favorite team whether you're not from the school or whether you are from the school or not. Kasi, di ba marami tayong mga volleyball fans, Coach Ronnie, na mga nasa probinsya, mga galing probinsya. Oo. Sumuluwas pa para lang manood. At uh, kung babalikan natin yung season 74, I think uh, that started the renaissance uh, in the sport. Tuloy-tuloy na pagkikita yeah. pag nito yeah. mga to sa finals. Yeah. And the service ace earlier by Ateneo answered. Dito sa isang down the line winner coming from Desiree Cheng. So, six straight years, they've been in the finals. Tama. Uh, Six, season and, 74. Uh, and uh, this probably is the first year that you can At not 100% sure. yes. say na sila yung magkikita. Wala nga sila sa top. <laughs> and an ace again by Lasalle, which has become a weapon here. Well, after the biggest lead was uh, built earlier by Ateneo at 5. Doke Gonzaga at uh, Desiree Cheng making sure that Lasalle stays in the hunt given the third. Looking for a close outset and a three set win, <laughs> Laban's Ateneo. Pretty <laughs> Oh, may nakita ko, eh. may, may feature tayo na bloopers sa ABS CBN Sports sa mga ganyan, ano, nakakatuwa rin. I'm sure that will make it. That's in. So it's down to two. Sabi mo, five now, mabot na ba na five? Oh, 12-7 kanina yan, now three straight points. One from Ogunsanya, one from Cheng, and one from that coach. Today and uh, wow. eighteen thousand strong today for this volleyball game match number twenty six. Bukas balik tayo sa arena in San Juan for two very important games. Also, we'll talk about that later. In the meantime, what a timeout by Coach Sherwin Menezes. Perfect timing for him and Joe Maraginot. I believe has entered double figures already after. That attack, let's uh, check and make sure. That's the pride of Dumangas National High School, Duque Ogansanya, has already unloaded eight points for De La Salle today. Oh, what an attack by uh, Castelletino from two. behind the line. Back row play on that pipe attack for a four-point lead. 
two straight points for Ateneo after Lasal was breathing down their necks. Ganda ng pick up ni Janelle Lu. Eh. Ang ganda ng biglang balasa sa back row ni Dina Wong. Nine points for Kat Tolentino. Cobb up to Cheng. The door is closed. Jamson will send it back. Pagkakataon para sa Ateneo. De Leon, tinulak pa kabila. And somebody touched the net from Lasal. So here come the Lady Eagles. Five-point lead, matching the biggest lead for Ateneo in any set for that matter. And Las Coach Ramil will not even wait for the technical timeout. Hey, an opportunity. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, so you know that that time out of coach Ramil and what he's saying now, underscores the fact that we were talking about Coach Ronina. The shorter the rallies, the better for them. Ayan. And it's also this also proves that Ateneo is working harder on the other end. Better perimeter defense, better net defense for Ateneo versus Lasalle. Cross court, pick up by Maraginot. Cap. Tin Tiangzon picks it up and a chance ball for Ateneo once again. Lo sends it to Wong. Wong sends it to Joe. Down the line. She puts it away. And the second technical timeout and the biggest lead of the match for the Lady Eagles. Almost 19,000 in attendance here on a Saturday afternoon joining us. Maraming salamat and the millions watching all over the country and all over the world. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Boom Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie Manzano, Direk Alneri at the helm of this exclusive and live broadcast for ABS-CBN Sports. La Sala had two sets to love, but Ateneo finding rhythm here in set number three. Right. Ahead by seven it's points now as the number one blocking team denies the entry. And suddenly, the smiles are back in the faces of the Lady Eagles. Nagkabalik taran. Totoo yan. And their offense has been able to produce 10 attack points already for them. Two kill blocks for a seven-point lead. The biggest, the largest in this set and of the match for Ateneo. Now it's the offense of Lasal that is being well read by Ateneo. 18-10. Best blocking team showing its teeth. In terms of net defense, reading this underhand pass of Don Macandili, hindi na tumuhin siyang bola. DDL was there to cover. Together, I believe that was uh, Jules Samonte. In the meantime, CJ Saga will check in for Michelle Cobb and a free ball given. Samonte. It drops out, and this rally continues, Coach Ronnie. It is a nine-point lead. Is that the biggest the of biggest, the match? The biggest of the match. I, for either team, no? Pareho. Oh, sila pareho. No? This is already seven straight points for Ateneo. They surrendered the lead after 25 points. Doon sa second set. Dito, tuluyang kumapit. That stops. A 7-0 run for the Lady Eagles and that dump play coming from secondary CJ, setter. Yeah. CJ Saga. You also saw Ponga Gaston earlier dancing in the sideline. She Redes, is Redes. suffering from an ankle injury. Uh, Bettina Abella also suffering from an ankle injury. Danny Ravenna, of course, recovering from an appendectomy. And Coach Tai is not with them today uh, until Tuesday for the Lady Eagles. But they're up here by eight. Samonte. Saga. KKD. Maraginot sends it over. Saga looks at the open. Cheng. Passport denied. Listen to this crowd. And Ateneo has been containing the open hitters. 
ng De La Salle. Block number three for Ateneo. Given the set, pushing their block total to 11. Coach, what has happened? What has turned this around for the Lady Eagles? Mas maayos ang depensa. Napakaayos ng opensa. And of course, Dina Wong at the hell of this huge comeback para dito sa Ateneo in this match. How about the net blocking? Defense. Yes! Of Ateneo coming into play. Hindi makalusit yung palo rito ni La Cheng. Sila naman ang kinaganahan sa opensa. You know, the defense leading to the offense. We say that a lot about basketball, Coach Ronnie. So, yeah. Let the offense take care of itself. Does it apply also in volleyball? Uh, or at least from a confidence standpoint? Well, you talked about the fact that Lasalle wanted the rally short. But Ateneo not only able to prolong the rallies, but able to defend Lasalle's point of attack and have their own counter attacks as well. Na hindi mabantayan ngayon ng Lasal. Naglaho yung net defense ng Lasal na sumasabay ng Gusto versus Ateneo in the first set. Look at the attack points of uh, Ateneo. Only 11, 17 combined in sets 1 and 2 already with 12 here in the third set. Malaki-laki ang hahabulin. But as Coach Ronnie said, even if this set will go down as a loss for Lasal, you want to get some momentum. Yes. Yun ang hinahabol mo eh. Coaches know that, players know that. Mahirap mabaon. Minsan, it uh, allows uh, clouds of doubt to enter your mind. You don't want that to happen. Still an 8.8 for Ateneo. Desiree Cheng was a fixture in that yeah. service line for eight consecutive times in set two. Set two, no? From 13-12, it became 21-13, which is the exact count right now. But now, it's in favor of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Got nobody in front of her. Dawn picks it up. Saga opens to Tiam Zord. So off the fingertips. And Lohan tried to keep it up, but good. So, this lead is down to seven. Saga activating Dean Chamsung, who scores off the double block. Chamsung from Moscrop Secondary School in Canada. Of course, CJ Saga, guiding to Siliman University. Cheng to Law. And a chance ball here. Free ball for LaSalle Saga. Reverse set to Kiana. Somebody comes to them. It's an Atenean. So a little bit of a mini rally, mini run for the Lady Spikers. Coach Ramil telling the girls, Isa Isa. And when your opponent is making a fiery run, very important, minimizing your errors and giving up easy points. Coach Sherwin Meneses, Nanini Gurado. As LaSalle has cut into a double digit lead, down to only six. Interim coach for today, it's Sherwin Manessis, the former Adamson University coach, of course. Leading the midway a couple of years ago, handing it over to Coach Domingue, who eventually handed it over to Coach Air, who's uh, doing so well in her second year. Two years ago, the Kid Montalvo on your screens. Chang with a good serve. Cat. It bounces back. They go back to Kat. And again, it is returned to center. The coverage was there, but Law just could not raise that ball higher for a counter rally para dito sa Ateneo. Law, katulad ni Joanna Maraginot, galing sa De La Salle pa, katulentino roof by the double wall of the Lady Archers. Lima. Out of five. And it's Cheng again, delivering from the service deck. Good reception by Law. Now scampering here are the Lady Eagles for this possession. Saga. D. Tinulak Pakabila. Law. Very close to the net. Very dangerous. That is out. Wow. Good idea by Samonte. Yes, yes. But, may konting tulak. Masyadong malakas. 
Everybody was converging dito sa may yes, front row. That's a smart thing. She had the right idea. Napalakas lang. Napalakas lang. Hindi na mahabol ni Desiree Cheng. Sana the heat is on. Laban sa Ateneo, Desiree Cheng. Seems to be the kryptonite against sa service, Ateneo's eh, no? reception. Lead yeah. down to four. Naririnig na yung mga yabak. Coach Ron, oh, sa oh, likod. Naman, yung mga yabak. Wong. Another chance here for Lasal. Makandili. D. Cross court. It is in. Yeah, and Caraville gives a high five to Guiana D. Oh, Natawa ko dun sa first referee natin. Dahil lumipad yung flag. Nung ating uh, lineman. Ah, ganun po. Ayan, lumipad at natawa siya. Pero alam naman niya, napaso. So, oh. ayan, no? Oh. Um, uh, limit. Oh. Oh. Meron na pati siya. Meron isa. Ayun. Meron isang lineman na tinawag niya. Ate I got you, sabi. Yes, Atene 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 needs to show points right now. Dito sa huge uprising na pinapakawalan ang Lady Archers. Cat, faster. Makandili keeps it up. Chance here for Ateneo. They're up three. Tolentino. No entry. And listen to this crowd this time. Karina, pinakinggan natin yung Ateneo crowd. Puro sa Asuno. Oh. Oh, ngayon, itong habol. Lasal naman. The score was 19-10 earlier. And since that time, it's been nine points for De La Salle, only two for Ateneo. Within striking distance are the reigning and defending De La Salle champions, rather, De La Salle Green Archers. On the ace! First ball problems, service aces. Babalikan natin at babalikan niyan, Coach Ronnie. And once again, Desiree Cheng seems to want to have a patent on that service line. Tuwan tuwan kanyang ate na si Janelle Cheng. Lead down to one. And she's really targeting low. There's no Walang two ways about that. And look at Maragena trying to step over and catch this next serve. Back to back aces! We are tied! 21 all! Ilan ba ang hinabol, Coach Ron? Mahaba-haba ito. At least 8 ang hinabol dito ng De La Salle. 9 pala! 19-10 ang kalabangan kanina. Desiree Cheng, unbelievable efficiency, 12 points. 12 aces. 12 aces Service today for aces. De La Salle and counting. The 9-0 run. Over-received. Got. Joe in the middle. La Salle here. KKD. At 21 all. Samonte finally yes. stops the bleeding for Ateneo just in the nick of time. Majoy Baron had a chance to give La Salle the lead. She could not put that ball away. And lo, locating Samonte who beats the double wall. Out of balance, Isaga out of position. Ateneo stops that huge, huge De La Salle run for a one-point lead late here in this third set. Saga, off speed, Samonte was there. Tolentino, passport tonight again. You know, wow. Coach Ronnie, in the four-game winning streak of Ateneo, the, one of the things also that they handled better than the first two games was composure, adversity. They had a little more composure than calmness and handling adversity. This is a test here today, right now in the third set. It's all about winning tight points. 22 all. D was there. Saga puts it up for Tiamzon. Cross court. Yeah. And Lasal is in the lead for the very first time here in set number three. Unbelievable result. Persistent, highly efficient, not giving up after being down by a huge disadvantage. And Lasal, they had to work really hard, doubly hard defensively. And much more on the offensive end. And dito sila lumaylay ng gusto sa ating third set when you talk about offense. Another chance for the defending champs. KKD. Lo. Saga will choose Tiamzon. Maraginot was there down the line. Tolentino. That is out. Oh, and that's intimidation on the part of uh, Major Baron and KKD. On Catalentino. From being down nine points, La Salle is at match point. 
24-22. Coach Jamil says focus. It's a point for right, the right. double contact. That was a late call, but the correct call. A little tight on that last rally. Was Duque Gonzaga. Ateneo saves one set point, equivalent to one match point. And Mitch Cobb will come back. CJ Cobb has done really well, yes. That was a big decision by Coach Ramil de Jesus, and she responded really well. That's why Coach Ramil is who he is. Grabe po mendot, ano? Grabe po mendot ng buton. That's the trust that she, he shows. Oh, miscalculation. Chance for Ateneo to tie. Maraginot. Finds a crack in that wall. And we are extended here in set number three, just the way the fans like it. Ito yung sinasabi mo na matentes ng character ng Ateneo. And they have also responded as De La Salle fails to be able to close out that set. Dun sa overpass ni Cobb sa likuran ni KKD. Cobb quickly to Agonsanya. Set back by Ateneo. And the pendulum has swung back to the Lady Eagles, 25-24. And now the pressure is on Mishka to make the right place. And Ateneo's wanted them defense working in the nick of time. Cobb will be tested today against the efficient Dina Wong. Set point transfers to the girls in blue. D, safe, over received. Set back to Ateneo, still at set point. Tolentino puts it away. Oh, and Ateneo survives a sound storage rally in set number three. What a match. And we go to set number four. When we come back here on SNA. 26-24 is our score here in set number three. An extended set number three. Oh, yes. But that is not the really what captures the story. Ateneo ahead by nine, right? At one point. And then LaSalle showed the championship character. Overpowering Ateneo, taking a two-point lead, taking two match points at 24-22. But Ateneo would not fold this time. And uh, you would say that Mishka was defended well by Ateneo. But sa huli niyang dalawang pasa, as that's why Ateneo was able to survive and beat LaSalle for the first time in our most exciting set so far in this match. What about that move that Coach Ramil triggered, pulling out Tom, CJ Saga, amidst that nine-point deficit, they came back, they get to set point, brings Cobb back at that crucial moment, did, had, did it, that have anything to do with anything as a result of that third uh, set, Coach well, The two passes that she executed were defended. One, KKD. Pasa kay KKD sa likuran. Hindi nakapalo, hindi napatay. Pangalawa, yung isang pasa niya nabantayan. And uh, those were two critical points that Atene was able to, to get away from De La Salle. And looking at the third set, you find that Atene's offense finally executed well by Dina Wong. Service aces, once again dominated by De La Salle, of course, courtesy of Desiree Cheng. And even the errors went in favor of De La Salle. I thought that they let that set slip away from their hands. They had chances to close out that set and the match. Instead, they would allow Ateneo to leave and fight another set. And we will be going to the fourth set shortly. And yun ang iniiwasan ni Coach Ramil. Alam niya, pagkatyan ay pagkakataon. Within their hands, within their grasp. But, okay, if you're the saldo, as you Reminding you, uh, tomorrow at uh, the Ball of Asia Dito Music yan. Hall, oh, oh, UAP. Three. Three live, yan, ha? Live, yan. Live streaming sa number one website, sports website in the Philippines, sports.abs-cbn.com. Uh, that happens tomorrow already. And then, March 11, that's next weekend, the UAP Season 80 Street Dance Competition dito. It's ball of Asia Arena. All right, I want to get back to this game. Okay, Ateneo found their groove, found some things that they can build on for the fourth set. Obviously, they stay alive, and that's the important thing. Your LaSalle, you were... Blana, baut ka na. 
Nakahabol, almost won. What is that positive that you're going to take if you're Lasal and if you're Ateneo, what are you taking to set number four? Well, for Ateneo, it's about uh, staying alive. It's about believing that they can beat Lasal in a set. Uh, something to build on. For Lasal, lamang pa rin sila ng isang set. They just have to work another set to close out this match. Well, pag hindi sila nakalusot dito, anybody's game pagdating sa fifth set. Para sa Ateneo, doing the right things. Better with the reception. Consistent with their net defense and able to go to their points of attack. Plus, Mishra redeems herself, scoring the first point. Courtesy of another service ace for the De La Salle and Lady Archers. Pang ilan na ba ito para sa kanila? 9? 13. 13? 13 oh, uh, service ace. That's a stat we told you na sa mga talo ng Ateneo, di ba? They gave up no, a double digit. digit. Count. Oh, so aces. This is already 7 more than or... Three more than what they had against Adams and talking about Kasan. They award the point here to Ateneo. Not sure what the call was, sorry. We missed out on that. And then touch that in our game. Bajay Tapla tayo, one all. 2 1 for Lasal. Pug Gonzalez, coach Ronnie Magsano, ABS CBN Sports, live and exclusive coverage of season 80 of the women's volleyball. And Ateneo sends a free ball to Lasal. Caught in the middle. D. Oh, yeah. Hanging D. and banging. Yeah, that is a rare combination play that we've seen today from our two ace playmakers. Mishkov seems to be re-energized after scoring earlier on her first service ace. Alam mo hindi nakakatapos ang mga palo niya masyado ngayon? Si Majoy Baron. Laging nasasagot yung mga palo niya dyan sa gitna. Let's see if she'll be better here in the fourth. And their second bid to close out this match. Chen goes back <laughs> to Janelle Law and wags the finger again. And another ace for Cheng and another ace for LaSalle as we send it back to Marty Bautista. Nung sinabi ni team captain Matty Madayag, walang bibitaw, walang ang bumitaw sa third set na yon. It took time for the Lady Eagles to gain their confidence back with Coach Sherwin even having to tease Rhea Law na mas magaling nga siya mag-defensa kaysa kay Maddie. Only so that Rhea could understand that she could do it. Now with the girls getting their groove back, Coach Sherwin reminds them, lahat may paraan, kaya gumawa tayong paraan. Boom and Coach Ronnie, panag sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Marty Bautista. Two, serving three. Cobb, bump set. Bumalik ang bola sa Lasal. Ayun yung sinasabi ni Coach Ronnie. Yes, Ronnie. yes, yes. Normally, patay na sa kanya yung mga bolang ganyan. That is out! Wow! <laughs> Makadili! <laughs> so, Pero, ano naman eh, oh. talagang uh, resolute yung taas nung flag ng ating mga oh, linesmen. Oh, yes, yes. Pareho sila, no, Coach? Sabay. Sabay yung dalawang linesmen na nagsabi out, no? Pero para kay... Don Makandili. Walang out, out. It's out. being a pick. <laughs> Diving for every ball and keeping the ball in play. A joy with a sharp serve. Bump set to Cat. Chance for LaSalle. Cobb. Reverse set nice to Kiana. Pass, nice pass. Oh, very yeah. nice play by coming from each cup. And that is a tough attack. You're jumping left and you go with the right attack down the line. The lead is three for LaSalle as we go to Eileen Sheet. Boom and Ronnie, unfortunately, staying true to their tendencies, the Lady Spikers dropped another set while being only a set away from winning. Their inability to start strong and control the ball in the third set became the crucial factor for this. Nagpapanik tayo kahit tayo ang lamang, sabi nga ni Coach Ramil. Now, in order to make the Lady Spikers gain more leverage defensively, Coach Ramil asks his team to always be ready for blocking. Ayusin natin ang timing at huwag niyong uunahan tumalon. With the Lady Spikers being fifth in blocking so far this season, do you think the strategy could work, Boom and Ronnie? Well, as we said, Eileen, that is a surprise. And <laughs> we expect almost automatically that they're at least second place in terms of blocking. And, uh, but, you know, when they're in a game like Ateneo Lasal, it brings out the best with each other. Ito, yeah, sometimes ito, yeah. yung mga ranking na yan, it just doesn't matter anymore when, when they're playing against each other. But that reminder by Coach uh, Ramil Jesus is because of the fact that Ateneo had 15 attack points. Mm -hmm. Look, the third three, yeah. correct. Kailangan gumana ang blocking mo dahil 15 of 25, mataas yun. It means your first line of defense is not omnipresent and you have allowed your opponents to score on you repeatedly. 
Have a little pride in your defense, sabi niya. Kailangan. Kung gusto mong maisara, kailangan tumrabaho ka. Nice pick up there by Kat, which leads to this Maraginot attack and a touch by Mitch Cobb, or was it Duque? Well, regardless, the point will go to Ateneo. From the biggest lead of Lasal, which to the 3 at 6, 3 Ateneo with two consecutive points. On the prowl, ang Lady Eagles versus the Archers in their very first meeting in the post Kim Fajardo at Gia Morado era. It's their turn to get an ace. Talking about the Lady Eagles. And that's courtesy of uh, team captain Madi Madayag who delivers another service ace for the Blue Eagles after having only one service ace in set one and in set two. Umaga na narito, nagkakaroon na ng karga and service ng Atene. One out of two for Madi Madayag. 14 service aces for Lasal, four for Ateneo. That's the count so far. Ateneo had five versus UP in their last match. Madi Madayag. Sa their strength, not this year, not this year. Nakakapagtanga nga kasi normally sila rin naman yung halos naglaro last year. Para play. Good pass. Si, si BDL, ang laking tulong din dun sa third set na panalo ng uh, Ateneo. She was the one who started out scoring heavily for the Eagles. The third set to re-energize the rest of uh, the Eagles. Now we're tied at seven after being behind the, by three ang Lady Eagles. Bob going for the one-two play. 22 points heading to this match for this young lady from Saint Scholastica. We are live on all platforms for all of the fans to access must see volleyball action on SNA, SNA HD, Liga, Liga HD, TFC.TV, and of course on sports.abs-cbn.com slash livestream slash UAP. Wala pa yung mga replay dyan. So, Masala is ahead by only a solitary point. 8-7, make that 9-7, and again, that is the 15th service ace. Could be the season high for De La Salle this year. Heading into this match, La Salle, the best serving team in the competition. It's a weapon that they hope to really utilize and sustain. Oh, oh, especially oh. against 58 aces heading to, the, to today's game. Especially against the number seven receiving team of the league. And 21% talking about Ateneo. Oops, oh! That's out. Underneath oh. the ball. Mababa ba yung set, Coach Ron? Hindi, makakakit yung palo niya. Inangat pa nga ni kinuha niya nung pababa. Maragino came alive in that third set. Oh, nice, pass. Pass. nice pass. Nice pass. And is now taking risks. Imagine, uh, imagine practicing that over and over and over again. That kind of distance, countless that kind time, of height, countless though. hours. Muscle memory. And being better is always intentional. And being really good at something, you have to be able to be perfect almost. To be able to recall that when you need it. Well, now they practice it twice a day. <laughs> Dahil twice sa day na po ang, magsa, 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 uh, ang practices ng Lasal after the loss uh, to Adams And University. we haven't mentioned the name Catalin Tino for, for quite while. a for while. while. Although she was uh, a go-to player for Ateneo the first two sets. Lead down to one for De La Salle. 10-9 is the count here in the fourth set. Parang ano to eh, the calm before the storm eh. Oh. Parang nag-jab-jab uh, tong dalawang uh, skwela so far eh. here in the set number four. Before we get to the knockout blow, so to speak. Makandili gets through the block. Nakahiwalay yung block. Ni uh, Maddy at ni Kat. AKD. And then with the third set already with 15 points. Leading scorer for both teams combined. AKD against... Ah, masyadong buka. Yung uh, double block na yun. Identified and read well by KKD. Finals MVP. Two years ago, no? Two years ago, yes. Two years ago. The last year, si... Uh, that's what they That's say. Right. Yes. Good attack there. All right. Cross court bullet coming from uh, that slight play. That running hit. Dina Wong, better percentage in terms of excellent sets compared to 
Mitch Cobb at one time. She was at 35% compared to Cobb, who had about 26% for De La Salle. Cobb quickly to Baron. Makandini brings it up to D. Maraginot pops it up. Goes to the other side, but rejected at the net by La Salle. This was the call of Coach Ramil for his Lady Archers to work harder with their first line of defense. Two man wall. Two longest players for De La Salle, KKD. Majoy Boron combining to join forces. Back to Kat. Oh, may no, sumabit na naman. Too close to the net, yung yeah. serve. Hindi na siya nakapreno, hindi na naka-adjust. They're talking about a 6-1, 6-2 player. 3.8 for De La Salle. Cover tayo. Pagka sinet sa open, cover. Kasi papaluin lang ni Kat yun eh. Wala namang magagawa si Kat kundi paluin eh. Diba? Cover tayo. Pag walang receive. Pag may receive, run ng play. Huh? Running, dress, dos. Pag may receive. Pag wala, wala naman eh. Open talaga yung back row. Medyo back row. Frontline siya, no? Si Tina, medyo huwag kayong matakot na mas yung bola. Frontline siya. Okay. Saga tayo, girls. Konti lang. Okay, get one lang. Konti lang. Las Alas ahead by three. Sherwin Vanessa's taking over from Coach Tai back in Thailand, in Trat City in Thailand for the death anniversary of his father-in-law. Left last Wednesday, we'll be back on Tuesday for those who missed out on that announcement. Back announcement. And it's not a weird thing for Ateneo. It's happened a couple of times to them that Coach Tai has had to go back to Thailand. They've been able to deal with it, uh, you know, uh, even in, in the past. Of course, again, different teams, different situation. But it's not a strange thing. Before, ha, no? Alam yeah. na nila yan. Yeah. Yeah. Pero itong si Majoy Baron, aram na rin niya kung sino ang weak link para dito sa Ateneo. In terms of uh, the service reception, 4.8 for De La Salle, down to 3. Service. Yeah, that's service error coming from last year's season MVP. And some players of De La Salle, of course, playing their final year this yes. year. Mabibigat na pangalan, Don Makandili, Majoy Baron, and KKD. 14-11, over-received from the LaSalle side, but Don keeps it up. Tiamzon will send it cross-court, low. Kat Mababa, four touches. That's a four-point lead. That is the four biggest touches. in this set, Coach Ronnie. Right, not enough vertical para dito kay Kat Tolentino. And that uh, pipe play will not uh, fall into place for the Eagles. They're down by four. And this is a complete reversal of what we saw in the third set. Akong saan? Ang Lasal ang nagahabol sa Ateneo doon. Although inabot nila. It's a chance ball. Don. Cobb. Tiamzon. Law keeps it up. Can anybody get to it? Yes! But not enough. I believe that is the strongest attack today I've seen of the Lady Archers. Delivered by Team Chamzon. All power, full force. 5.8 for Lasal versus the Ateneo. We're inside the Mall of Asia Arena. More than 18,000, close to 9, and 18,500 plus have joined us on this Saturday to watch FEU beat USD in straight sets earlier. And right now, La Salle and Ateneo, four sets. How about this? La Salle, four players in double figures, led by KKD. 20 points for KKD. Biggest scoring game so far of the year, of the for, year KKD. for her. Right. 10 points for Cheng, 10 points for Baron. Tiamzon with 11. Oh, they needed that. The fourth wheel. Their uh, offensive wheel. Right and now, Ateneo lapsing into a series of attack errors. Laki na to. Oo, ito, mabigat ito dahil nakaka-receive, hindi nakaka-atake. At hindi kumagalaw ang kanilang talaan. Lasal naman. Continues to move forward, digging, building their biggest advantage, which is at six points right now here in the fourth set. Ateneo, what a serve. Ateneo, in the meantime, is led by Tolentino with 12 points. Maraginot with 12 also after that attack. Isang dosena. And Janelle Cheng, or rather Desiree Cheng, was late 
get into that ball with Joanna Maraginot who scores over sulok. the block. Sulok na sulok talaga. Scores over Sports. two blockers rather. Kantong kanto, derecho sa uno. Mea De Leon has nine points by the way for Ateneo. Five point lead. Biggest was six in this set. And it goes back to there. 12 points for Team Champson, overpowering the blockers. Once again, Team Champson playing an outstanding match para nito sa De La Salle. And nakapawe si Joe Maraginot between two La Salle players on that swing. Lead is five. What right about that pass coming from Dina Wong? Incidentally, Dean Samson has scored 48 points heading into this match. I believe he's, she's the fourth leading scorer for La Salle this year, or fifth leading scorer for, for the Lady Archers. Cheng is receiving that one. She gets it back, sends it to the other side. And Bea De Leon enters double digits with 10 points on four attacks, but she has six blocks. In this game, talking about BDL, that will be 17 overall in terms of kill blocks for BDL. And that will also be pushing our scoring output to 63 points for the year. Cobb, quickly to Duke. Excellent decision for Mitch Cobb, going for that quick play. Of course, made possible by a very good first ball for De La Salle, courtesy of uh, Team Chamson once again. Walang blocker na nakarating. Gonzania knocks in the 19 point for De La Salle here in the fourth set. Low. In the middle, Maraginot. Somebody got a hand on it. I think it was Gonzania. Wow. And a cross court attack by Desiree Cheng, who has 11 points for herself. Timeout by Coach Sherwood there as they're trying to stop this run by LaSalle. They're up, they've matched their biggest lead on this set, which is at six again. But this one, they're closer. By set, oh, oh. And closer to the finish. They should play with desperation yeah. right now. Dahilang LaSalle has already entered the 20 point level here in the fourth set. Samonte. Duque. Able to keep it up. And a free ball. Tansa para sa Ateneo. Cut this lead, which is at six. Maraginot, oh, taps wow. on, pops it up at the line. Coach Ramil disappointed. He was so disappointed, Coach. Coach Ramil was so disappointed that they were not able to convert it into an attack. Right. And just a free ball. Uh, remember the opening that they so gave to Ateneo in the third set slide for De La Salle. Well, you can see. Yeah, De Leon went to a difficult angle going to zone one. 11 puntos para kay BDL. Machoy. Low picks it up. Ah, oh, that's too low for Joe. And they haven't been very successful with that back row play as of late talking about the Eagles. They are down by six and also by a set. And uh, more bad news, Cobb is going to be serving. It's all about applying the killer's instinct right now para dito sa team. Ng La Salle. A solid first ball for Joe. Makandili keeps it up. Cheng cross court. Salikot. Triple block through the block. Chemson pushes it, but it's too strong. Still, you have to applaud the effort of Don Makandili. 
Kamot no for Coach Ramil De Jesus. They're still protecting a five point lead. But an attack error coming from Chanzon. Really just all over. There's a chance for Larita. There's a counter sa counter attack. Nila. There's always a chance when she's just there. Di na mama tayong bola, no? Oh, na parang na na miss yung footing niya. I guess it takes. I guess it takes. Sure. Sa kaya footing niya parang kung idadam niya o ipalasa niya. So here come the Lady Eagles again, trying to come back and set the perform. Down four. The timeout specifically to try to give confidence to Mitch Cobb. Kailangan eh. Lalo na yung dulo again. Kailangan. Dulo, dulo oh, lagi. Yung pagsara. Which is, for us, akala natin routine. But for them, that's the hardest. Especially against, against a hard-fighting team, yung arch rival. You can nila. only imagine. Oh, hirap niya. <laughs> Walang madali sa ganitong laban. Sa init ng laban at ganito kalamig, yeah. lamang mahirap yeah. yan. Yeah. BDL serving. B in the middle. Oh. Attacks or strikes it to the net. Coach Ramil will come in or bring in CJ Saga for Mitch Coven. Probably that's a sign now that Coach Ramil gave her a chance after that timeout, but now he's uh, talking to Mitch here at the bench. And CJ will take over with a three point lead. The lead was at six, so this is three straight points for the Lady Eagles who are on the run. Dawn picks it up. Way out. Looks like it was out. Way out. Yeah. Cat. Chance though. Oi, Bumalek. And now this lead is down to two once again. This game just will not end. <laughs> not, it's not that oh well it won't end there but it just doesn't lack drama and there was oh, always no. going to be and anytime they face yes. each other lagging like, around side stories yet yeah, I, I don't mind if it doesn't end <laughs> of course yeah, yeah. <laughs> BDL down oh, two that oh. is an expensive error and that's a reprieve for De La Salle coach Ramil Desus continues to encourage Mitch Cobb he knows that down the season down the road Kakailanganin nila yung efficiency at yung confidence ito si Mitch Cup. Remember, he's a 7-2, so ito yan. And this is a second-year player referring to Michelle Cup. Ang sabi ni Coach Ramil, ibabalik kita, gusto mo ba? Now, these are things that are happening on the side, folks, right now. Na hindi natin nakikita on camera. Ready to, because it's right beside oh. us, eh. Hawak na niya yung number ni CJ Saga, yung go signal na lang. Ni Coach Ramil ang inaantay niya. And she yeah. nods her head saying, He's going to be ready, but right now, Lasal bailing out Mishka, up by four, getting two straight points, one of the service error in the BDL, and here that nice 200 push coming from Team Chamsu. This is all a learning situation yan, process for yan, her. Oh. Cheng. Sagit na, Samonte. The lead is four. Cat wow. returns to center. KKD and MJB. Once again, solid fortress and at then, the net. And then you have Death Cheng serving Pa, and we are at match point. Perfect situation for De La Salle. The question is, can they close it out this time after failing to do so? With a two match point advantage in set number three. Now they have five match points at their disposal. And Cheng serving, delivering from the deck. That is out. Coach Ramil says it touched the line. He's conferring. Let's take a look at that last serve once again. Was it a good read by Law? Was it an overcook on the part of Desiree Cheng? Ateneo, let's look at this. It's out. Way long. Way long. Good call. So saved one match point. Oh! oh! And a service and error. 
Season 77, Coach Ramil is not pleased yet. You look at him, he's whispering to himself under his breath. But nevertheless, Coach Ronnie, that is win number 251 <laughs> against 67 losses in the two-decade career of Coach Ramil de Jesus. And we cannot lose the fact of what is at stake in this match. The fifth win for De La Salle. And they will tie Ateneo for the second spot. FU, you mean? FU, rather, right. for the second spot. Right. Both teams winning today. Both teams with a 5 and 2 winless card. And so far, they're behind NU, which will play tomorrow in the final play date of our first round. They have oh, wow. a 5 and 1 win loss record. Our Gatorade White Lightning player of the game is KKD with her season high today coach Ronnie serving receiving and net defense defense and of course attacking she was herself her efficient self better than her usual numbers in a big game today for KKD 25 20 25 17 and then Ateneo stealing the third set 26 24 of the fourth set belonging to the lady spikers there the girl on your screens, the finals MVP from a couple of years ago. Those are the numbers across the board for KKD. But there were a lot of people who delivered for LaSalle, Coach Ronnie. Well, there was Desiree Cheng, of course, who was excellent today. Of course, Majoy Baron, Duque Ogonsanya, and Tin Chamson. And once again, CJ Saga also lending a hand to Mitch Cobb. And of course, Don Makandili always is a picture of efficiency. And uh, Shell Cobb served well. Yes, yes. Mitch yeah. Cobb had her moments. Had her moments. KKD was simply a beast on both sides of the net, punching in 11 attack points using her patented and unstoppable hits from the opposite side while dishing out 7 of the team's total 12 blocks to deny any chance of an Ateneo upset. After a barangay level effort in the loss against Adamson, DLSU came out at the gate strong, scoring the first 8 points for both teams for a quick 6-2 lead and eventually taking the first set 25-20. Sets 2 and 4 mirrored each other in that LaSalle posting similar 16-13 and 16-11 leads throughout a combination of balanced production, blocking, and sharp service before putting the finishing touches for win number 5. Regarding Coach Ramil de Jesus' comments that the defending champions played like a barangay level team against Adamson, KKD said it was indeed a wake-up call not only for her but for the rest of the players to step up.